It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day to be Deadpool. It's story time. Oh, story time. Got any fans of Mr. Rogers out there? Woo! All right, I'm a pretty big fan of Captain America myself. <laughs> Hi there. It's me, your friendly neighborhood Deadpool. Are you guys ready for another story? Woo! good because I'm ready to tell one. Gosh, I love to talk. <laughs> Today's story is a beloved bedtime classic and pulled straight from the public domain so we can't be sued. It's Little Red Deadpool. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find the opening words. Ah, oh, yes, once upon a time. You know what? It really just feels wrong doing it by myself. Why don't we all say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. Once upon a time. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> Little Red Deadpool set off to bring her sickly grandmama a delicious basket of churros. <laughs> you see, Little Red's grandma lived alone. Not in a nice, clean, assisted living facility like where most mimas are forced to live in against their will. No! <laughs> she lived alone in a creepy cottage in an even creepier, desolate forest. Because what could go wrong? dangerous, thought Little Red to herself. So naturally she went into the woods anyway so that children could learn from her mistakes for hundreds of years. A real after-school special kind of cautionary tale. <laughs> well, Little Red skipped throughout the forest like past an exposition before finally arriving at Grandmama's cottage. When she opened the door, she saw her grandmother lying down on a nice four-poster rich mahogany bed. Oh, Grandmama, I brought you a delicious basket of churros. <laughs> Grandma was looking pretty weird, freakish even, and it wasn't because of the weight loss drugs, no. <laughs> no, it wasn't because of that. It was because Little Red's Grandma was actually a big, bad wolfie in the skies. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Grandmama, what blue eye contacts you have. <laughs> They're canon. Oh, and Grandma, what a... Retro comic accurate costume you finally have! <laughs> Shut up, bub! <laughs> and Grandma, what big claws you have? Are those vibranium? No! They're on a manium! Shing, shing! Wait a minute! Grandma's not Australian! <laughs> <laughs> Little Red broke off a piece of churro, dropped her basket, whipped off her cloak, took a bite of that delicious churro and then brought down her katanas in an X-shaped formation. Not as an Easter egg, just like as a stylistic choice. <laughs> Put it on, Peanut! They actually leaped at each other. Huge fight. It was awesome. They broke through that rich mahogany bed, but no one got a splinter. Claws and katanas shredded through the mattress, and there was CGI hay everywhere. <laughs> Which is like a hundred thousand times more expensive than regular hay, but this is Disney. We like to go all out here. <laughs> Speaking of going all out, when both fighters were finally fatigued from the fight's mutually incredible climax, they both slumped down to the ground. So tired. Churro asked Little Red, now in her regular voice, because falsettos are hard and I'm getting kind of lightheaded. <laughs> sure, he replied. And so they shared that churro. Oh, they shared it Lady in the Tramp style, actually. <laughs> before gazing around at all the destruction and CGI hay left in their wake. You know, I bet we could fix this place up nice. I think Grammy would be willing to sell. Say, uh, where is Grandmama anyway? She's, uh, on vacation. Huh, that's not ominous or foreboding in any way. In fact, I trust you fully. We should be roommates. Yeah, and so they were roommates. Little Red was the top bunk, and Wolvie was obviously the bottom. And they lived happily ever after. And the moral of that story, children, is, well, spend more time with your grandma. Seriously. You should really be able to recognize the difference between your old, decrepit grandmother and some huge jacked man. A huge jackman, if you will. Well, anyway, I should probably be off. I've got another show in, looks like, about an hour, and, uh, Gotta go check my DMs. That stands for Deadpool messages, patent pending. 
Well, thank you all for coming to another illustrious story time with Deadpool.